coast there. Alright. Alright guys, welcome to today's video. Welcome to today's video. Uh, today we're gonna basically be dropping off the car uh, to car toys. As you guys saw in the uh, last uh, video, uh, we have an issue with this speaker right here. So, we had to go ahead and get the everything done with the Honda uh, up to this point. So, uh, basically we're gonna go ahead and drop this car off, uh, get this car uh, worked on, figure out what, what interference there is that's causing the speaker to basically do that. So, once we get that figured out, we'll have that fixed. Cause then we already got the entire audio system in the Z already. So, that's like it's something to do with the amp. I'm hoping it's just wiring, maybe a wire came loose, so it's a bad wire and not a bad amp. Cause that would suck. Uh, but we don't know yet. So, we're gonna do that. That may be another day of uh, running errands. Uh, as we always do. That's the, uh, <clears throat> that's the, that's the life. Um, but, uh, let me get this video going. To make sure that you guys can see. And we'll get, we'll get started. Alright, so let's, uh, head to car toys. And, uh, drop this car off. And then, like I said, hope they'll get that all fixed up, figured out. Uh, get this stupid static sound gone, and then we're going to um, run some errands in the uh, the Honda. You need to go by the paint shop. Gonna tell the price to get all this stuff painted up. Um, but the addition, I mean, I got a price already, but I want to add the, the the two doors for the crow's feet. Obviously, get those taken care of as well. So um, maybe if. Uh, the uh, GM's there. Maybe we can get a ride in the GTR there. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully we can get a ride in the GTR. That'd be pretty cool. You know, first time in the R35. Sat in the R35, but I actually never, like, you know, been in the road in the R35. So, let's get it.
this car off, talk to the guys a little bit. Uh -huh. They gotta get an Uber back home so we can continue to do other things. Oh. So Let's park in the handicap because I don't give a fuck. I got VIP parking there anyways. Shit. Spent thousands of dollars here. I said, I'm parking where the fuck I want. Way, so I'm there we go, let's go see the guys. Drop this car off. Let's get out of here. Oh, I can't wait till that annoying ass sound is gone. Alright, so as you see where that car door is. Ugh. Leave everything else here. Leave anything else here. That's good. That should be now. Uh, right, he's gonna show me some cool front speakers that I can put in. This month, I did everything else. Oh uh, no, it's just a door speaker. I say that they're badass, but if you just have a coax, that'd be a badass speaker free from. Okay, so, but you guys can add the tweeter, right? Well, we can, yeah. We just have to make a location for it. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm surprised your car doesn't have It might have. I don't know. Maybe it might be up on the dash. And it'll it could be inside. Yeah, inside the grills. That's more if, likely. If you do, then a uh, Focal component would be absolutely the way to go. Um, I heard this I heard this yeah. one. I think it's this one he showed me for the Z. Yeah, that would be it sounded right. fucking crazy. Yeah. It sounded good. Okay, so that's the same speaker. Just one has the component one does. Yep. Basically, okay. Hundred dollars for the component? Damn. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. We got last class one for you too, but you doing? Have you not seen that car? I have, that's why. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Have you not seen <laughs> that car? <laughs> that's why I showed you those ones. I'm happy with all the stuff I got. Like I said, I'm happy with the cell. I don't want the stuff that was too big over bad as you saw in the trunk. I need to keep that trunk space. So I'm gonna come back and get those. But before that uh, alarm. Gotta get the alarm system. There he is. All right. All right. Give me a call. You got my number, right? We'll do. Got my number? Make sure. Make sure you got it, sir. All right, this video. Okay. What's up, doggy? So basically, what I want to try today in this video while I'm waiting on the uh, Z to get done. This is whole screen mirroring thing. You need a, a lightning um, HD cable. You see this all the things it does. Basically how you hook it up. Got HDMI, regular HDMI plug right here. Um, <clears throat> now you will have to have a source like an HDMI source, HDMI plug on your head unit. Obviously as you guys know, both the Pioneer and the new Alpine uh, have HDMI connections uh, on them. As well as you saw, I got the HDMI adapter. Buy something like that so you can connect one end to the back of the unit and then put the, the plug connector in somewhere on the outside. You see in the Z I have it in the actual glove box and then the Honda actually had them build a little mount for it. So I haven't tried this at all. I really don't want to jailbreak my phone. There's things you could do like you could download the um, the app that's called uh, Car Bridge, something like that. And you can download that and that allows you to uh, basically mirror your phone on anybody's car just by plugging it in. Of course, your phone will have to be jailbroken, so if you guys are into jailbreaking your phone, etc., do that. You can download the app. It do charge you, I think, $4.99 for the app, and then there you go. But I'm going to try it this way. Again, remember when you screen mirror your phone, you can't control it through, you know, via the screen. You still have to use your phone. Most of the time, I play music on my phone anyway, so. Example, if I was gonna, like, I'm like, example, if I'm gonna watch like under speed in the morning when I'm going to work, I can play on my phone and just play on the screen. I, I want to do that anyway, so I haven't tried this yet at all. I've actually had, I've actually had this adaptive, like, uh, I don't want to say a key and a half as long as I've had the Alpine, I just never used it. I could have tried, I should have tried it out, and he just never did. I just got interested in doing it uh, today. Oh, Baylor just scored a touchdown. <laughs> um, and so we're going to go out to the Honda. We're going to hook it up and see if I can get the screen mirror in the work. And if so, I'll go ahead and uh, update my Netflix account and my TV app on my phone. And there we go. So I take long trips to the Honda. I have access to everything. As well as I need to hook up the PlayStation. 
PlayStation, no Xbox. Make sure the inverter works. I haven't even done that yet. Again, I got everything installed. It's been working. So let's add to the car. Let's hook this up. Let's just simply see if it works. Okay, we're out here to the Honda. Again, this is no gimmicks, no keys. Simply me just plugging it in and see if it works. Love this car. Again, like you saw earlier, dropped up the Z. Z is getting an issue fixed, whatever it is. So, like I said, I got the custom thing. You see, already got the young camera, as you saw in the previous video, so I can plug the iPhone in. That's what we'll plug to the bottom of the iPhone. Pull out my iPhone, right there. And basically, we're gonna hook everything up. Should be able to take this HDMI plug, plug it into the top one right here. Like so. See the menu. Take the other end, I'm gonna take this adapter out. Give me one second. Put the camera down. Alright, just so you guys know, Apple sells this adapter, I think, for like $30 or $40. It's kind of crazy. I got this from Walmart for $7, and this is the, uh, I guess, a third party version. Basically, the same thing. So go to Walmart, pick this thing out. Don't pay the insane price of Apple. So again, we got this. You see, it's got the HDMI on one side and the lightning cable for the phone. So we're simply going to take this in at the HDMI cable right here. And we're going to hook it into the end of here and then hook this in into the phone. So let's go ahead and do that now. And again, I have not done this before, so I don't know how it's going to look. So there we go. See, it's all kind of hooked up right now. So I'm assuming, obviously, I could take this off because I just use this obviously to keep the phone power. So I'll unplug this for right now. Put the keys in the car. So if you guys just turn the power on. Put the power on. <clears throat> I'm probably going to power up. And I think it's going to give us a... It's going to give us an option for HDMI on here. Let's see. Again, I haven't done this once yet. Okay, so I'm looking at it now. Okay, and my phone is connected. I'll skip that part of the video. <laughs> okay, Bluetooth, I, I don't see anything right now. So what am I looking for? So let me see if I can't figure out how to get to that option of just playing the video. Okay guys, set up to my TV in order to understand that basically if you don't talk about it, you do have to have a power source on this thing. So you need to take your regular charging adapter and plug it into the other side. Um, if you get a USB air on your TV like I was getting, you'll have to hook it to an external power source. In this case, I didn't show you guys, you guys know I got it, but here it is. Right there, there's my inverter. You can see my ACMI, excuse me, my uh, power inverter so I can plug in regular power outlets into there. So if you don't have any power source like that, I mean, best thing I can tell you to do is do this cigarette lighter uh, and make that into a power source or whatnot. But yeah, so I'm going to plug it into here, then plug it in and see if I get that video source on the screen. So let's hook everything up and let's see. So now you can hear it. The yeah, button is actually turned on. The power is plugged in. So let's hook everything else up. That's where you get the inverter people in your car. Go ahead in your car. Okay. Now we'll crank the car up so it's not drawing too much power. We don't want it to draw because again, this is what's all the use is there. And I don't see a thing right now. 
a Bluetooth. Uh, there it is. Bam. HDMI just showed up. Just hit HDMI. There it is. What's on my screen? There's my background. So we'll change it. Let's put my code in. Hold on. And you will get a screen like this. You have to put your code in your phone and then it should allow you to access what's on the screen of your phone. Okay. Give me a second. Good thing is it did recognize it. Alright, so basically I'm on my home screen right now as you can see it came unplugged. Let me plug it back in right quick. Sorry about that guys. Doing everything one handed here. There it goes. Again you want to make sure you get the charge screen so it's charging. Should ask me. There it goes. Bam. There it is. Now again, you can't control from the screen. Physically, obviously, see. You have to control from the phone. But at least it's merely my phone. And again, this is without. You don't even have to. My phone's not jailbroken or anything. I just had to add the power source to it, which is this regular Lightning B plug-in. Again, I'm hooked to my inverter. My inverter is allowing, allowing it to get power. So if you don't have an inverter in your car, you'll have to, either, you know, they, they sell those cigarette lighters that could be ports, something like that. Or you could even do a hard wire to your battery, however you want to do it. But now, I have a TV app, I can watch TV. I should be able to go to YouTube. Like now I'm watching. We're so happy to have you here. Yeah. I'm a little surprised though that you came, even though Alabama Of course the resolution is going to be based on whatever the resolution of the video is. Sorry. So I want to see if I go driving. <laughs> And it still works. Here's the reality of the situation. Let's see. Alabama gave up 40 plus and then two Yep. See, I got the video playback thing. So I need to bypass the. Um, I did, but maybe they unhooked it. But yeah, if I were to bypass the uh, the parking brake on here, the video would still play while I'm driving. But while I'm stopped, the video works. So now, so for car shows, I could actually play my. Play my thing. Let's see. One second. Let's change the video here. One second. Actually, go. Uh, uh, I could do it easier. Let me do it like this. And go to. So I need to fix that. Or fix that video thing. I could put like my latest video. I love this. Uh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's a Z. <laughs> and the AT, my God. Right. Yeah, you know, so How do you get that air if you don't skip the ads? There we go. Playing my latest yeah, video. Perfect. So I got the video functionality to work, the only thing is obviously the guy uh, hooked up the uh, the parking brake, that's why it, it stops whenever um, that's why it stops whenever it does that, but, but that's cool. At least I got for like car shows right now, um, whenever I'm in uh, car shows it will uh, go, okay cool. So I'm laying how the is heading along with you guys. So it does display HDMI right there and then we plug HDMI. So when I hook up the PlayStation, we're gonna try that next, we'll plug a PlayStation into this. It should do the same thing, HDMI, and then there you go. Cool. Kind of froze right now. Right. I need to be able to plug it. So it does work. It's kind of got out here. There it goes. It does work. There it goes. Sometimes I guess it just gets stuck. There we go. Alright, cool. So, the only thing is, obviously, while I'm driving without the parking brake engaged, it's gonna, it's gonna kill the video feed, but you can bypass the parking brake and then have it playing all the time. Um, I'm gonna go get a PlayStation. I took a PlayStation up 
to this and make sure that the PlayStation will work. So for car shows, I got the PlayStation up here or whatever, and it uh, it be playing. All right, let's go get a PlayStation. I'll do it later on. I'll bypass the the parking brake or whatever. But this system works right here with that cable, and as you can see, it's just playing on my phone or whatnot, playing the latest video. Cool. All right, the only thing is I had to pa use a power source for that. But I tried to plug it into the H, the uh, USB of this one, it wouldn't it wouldn't recognize it. Wouldn't let me use both sources basically. So I had to have the uh, inverter. But if you don't have an inverter in your car, against you get an inverter for 64 bucks, it plugs into the cigarette lighter. You could do that; it'd be easier. Or again, you can use a cigarette lighter. So cool. All right. I hope still waiting for the Z to get done. I just wanted to try this out and see if I couldn't get video to play on the screen. All right. Waiting for the Z. Well, good thing turned it off. So I just reached down, and turned it off, so it's not continuously drawing power, even though the car is just sitting here. That's a luxury, a good luxury benefit to actually getting a inverter instead of using your your um, uh, cigarette socket. Again, mine's the top of the line as far as 500 watt one. You can get, it. you saw earlier, I actually have one. You can get the 300 watt one which plugs directly into the cigarette lighter and still has the button to turn off and off. So you could like sit it like on the side or something or whatever you want to do that. Uh, this one, the 500 watt one has to be hardwired directly to the battery. All right.